Oh, that is another thing with the clock. It will. Come on. Now you can hear me. So, uh, do you want me or not? You are about to witness unadulterated Reddit in interrogation form. This guy has it all. From thinking he knows all about police work. I probably do want to end the convo at all that because I already know you're recording on there and then there's also the wall mm -hmm. and then there's the camera. And that's part of what my conversation had been with you the first time. Would you be comfortable in uh, giving a sample of your DNA doing a buckle swab? A butthole swap? To being a ladies man. Like, I've had beautiful managers before that have, like, flirted with me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what do you like at Colton Crow? Um, I just, that buffet, man. Oh, it's so good. I, I think my favorite is probably, like, the little chicken strips. Mm -hmm. Like, little like, chicken strips. You still have fried okra? Oh, wait, really? Mm, I don't know. I haven't been in a while. It's oh. nice to do that. Do you want to go? I, I'm not right now. But <laughs> to believing he's a master escape artist. Deep down, I'm like, should I be an escape con artist? And show them how easy it is to fucking get away. This interrogation has so many gems, you're definitely going to want to watch this one. But first, the backstory. Cyrus Warren is a professional pizza delivery driver. Having worked for multiple pizza delivery companies, Cyrus knows the ins and outs of the industry. But those are not the only ins and outs he knows. Apparently, Cyrus really liked it when young girls would answer the door and pick up their pizzas. In one incident, he hugged the young girl who answered the door, picked her up, and then slipped her a note with his contact information. For some reason, she was not charmed by this ladies' man in uniform, and not only told her parents about the incident, but also didn't contact him. Not to be one to accept a cold shoulder from a bachelorette, Cyrus took matters into his own hands. This time, dressed in plain clothes, Cyrus visited the girl's house and knocked. The young girl answered. Cyrus asked whether her parents were home and asked if he could come inside. The girl refused, closed the door, and locked the door. Good girl. Cyrus continued knocking and even turned the door handle, attempting to enter. Again, this young seductress made the mistake of passing up the opportunity of a lifetime. Instead of responding to this top shelf mating call, she tattled on her hero to her parents. Her parents, probably brainwashed by mass media, didn't understand this ultimate gentleman's traditional courting style and ignorantly called Domino's to tattle on Cyrus. But Domino's did not reprimand Cyrus, because Cyrus had quit two weeks ago on the same day that a co-worker had accused him of driving her to a secluded area with the intentions to assault her. Domino's contacted the police, who brought Cyrus into the station for questioning. Hold on to your fedoras, my gentlemen and my ladies. Here we go. Well, all right, real quick, dispatch down real quick so you can talk to detectives. What'd you for me? They didn't miss anything on you, did they? Uh, no. Mind if I take your beanie off? Yeah, I'm bold. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only thing I don't like about not having a hat. Yeah, huh? You don't shave it? Uh, here and there, but I'm just having a hard time lately. Yeah, that's some shit. I honestly don't think this is my hat. And they didn't read me my Miranda rights at all. <laughs> no Miranda rights? Ain't that the shit? Definitely if I get a public defender. I wish I had like a board game in here or something. So tell you what, I'm fucking bored. Hey, this whenever I do get home, I am having some fucking Hennessy and Coca Cola because that motherfucker was the best to drink it today. I was able to find some ice in there. Who knows? Damn, man, where are people? I don't have a whole day. Jesus. Why isn't this bolted to the floor is my question. Definitely one of the best weapons in the world is this fucking cable. Well, actually, what the hell is the door? You would have to bend that fucking door. It's like deep down, I'm like, should I be an escape con artist? And show them how 
I do the least of I can get away. People with like 25 giant fucking dudes trying to get away from me. Or do I just like build the blow and fucking let it happen? Fucking. I don't know. Definitely need a public defender. They did not read me my Miranda rights at all. As they were putting me in the car, they did not read me my Miranda rights. And then you tell me why. And the warrant, I never was warned about the warrant. Um, there's no information about the warrant, and if they're using this as an abuse of power, just to get me to say something about something that something happened and somewhere, somehow, and then fucking questions and all that bullshit. I'm going to be really frustrated and I'm going to win a court case and you are going to pay me a lot of money. And guess what? I'm going to get a new car. I'm going to uh, fucking, what is it? Uh, probably get a new house. Buying a new PS4 controller. Probably the terabyte whole storage to situation for the PS4. I think it's like a four terabyte. Probably just Oculus Rift. That would be cool. An Oculus Rift. And fucking what else? I'm gonna buy a couple new pairs of shoes, throw them in the red lines, both of them. Probably gonna throw these away. Let's open the case. And then. Uh, I'll probably buy new jeans. And probably buy a hoodie list. Definitely buy like five beanies. Um, I don't know. They better have a pretty good fucking reason for detaining. Warrant out for my arrest. I need a lawyer. Or I need a fucking public defender because I don't know. They didn't read me my Miranda rights, and so I'm fucking free to go, basically. And that's on them. It's not on me. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford to an attorney, um, a public defender will be appointed to you. Now put your hands behind your back. And well, that's how you fucking say the Miranda rights. If you read me them now, it's already fucking too late. So y'all put me in the car before y'all read me them. Unless you guys are like, and you guys like held your mouth over your fucking mic like this, and then you were saying anything. I didn't even fucking hear it. So. Brandon, why not just on my side? No. No. I'll be a little fucking sleep. This is how your Miranda rights are supposed to be laid out to you. Hi, sir. You have more enough for your arrest. Well, what did I do? We'll talk about it in a minute, but you do have the right to remain silent. Anything you do or say can and will be used against you in the court of law. If you do not have 
If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed to you. Why not? Fucking easy like that. Nobody read me that shit. Come on. Might as well just let me out right now. Give me a phone call about anything right now. Ask me, talk to me about what happened. If I'm incriminating myself, I incriminate myself. If I don't, I don't. It is what it is. It is what it ain't. It's not 6.15. Is that whenever they're going to let me out of here? Is that 6.15? Is that why the fucking clock has stopped, actually? I don't feel pressure. Oh, that is another thing with the clock. Ooh. Come on. Now you can hear me. So, uh, do you want to meet or not? See, I'm like, okay, you might Miranda rights. The hell is going on there? Miranda rights. Miranda rights. Ain't nobody do that. Miranda rights. Where's the red light? Oh, yeah, that's the audio. Yeah, that's on. And the camera's on. Dang. Entire investigation squad all on here. Tell you what, though. That's a bust through the wall. That's a bust through the wall. It'd be easier to bust through that wall. They have them padded for a reason, but this one's the only one that's not padded. And they got the clock there saying, hey, you knock the clock over, it's probably going to trigger something and make it a lot as you bust through the wall. Um, ooh, or maybe they were actually smart. They have the wall. They have fucking tight beams. Which means you have to be like a six foot five, three hundred and fifty pound dude in order to Oh yeah. Hello. I need to some shit. Bruh. Like, hurry up. Please hurry up. So I'm getting locked up. I'd rather get the process started now and start serving time now than fucking wait. Oh, shit. So I turn out the serve 90 days in jail. What if they had a warrant out for my room? I'd be honest, so they didn't tell me that the whole register is something you uh, fucking sealed. Like it's a new law sealing the fucking registration. Because I know that as a juvenile, the laws are changing for that. And so I think that since I'm 21, that if that law has changed, then they're sealing my file. Which means I didn't have any past charges, which means new charges, which means then why would the detain happen? And that's all I'm confused about. If um, maybe if someone else got caught up doing something and they threw my name out there and we're just gonna ask me questions and don't really know me and don't really know me or someone is pressing charges against me then they have to let me go to court and that means that they have to let me go which means that they're literally here just to talk to me because I won't be able to go to court and all that good stuff so either way unless the warrant is for the registration which I'm guessing it was for the registration me not telling them that I left my job then I think that 
that's like a 30 day something like that it's like a 30 day behind bars and then after the 30 days then I go out then I have to go to court I probably have to pay a fine restitution or something like that and then uh, be some bullshit I mean if they don't have my wallet then I should be okay because I don't know if Oklahoma Police Department is in cahoots, which means that if they charge for something and they don't have the password they're handing to me to my card, then would they charge me for any other purposes? So basically, zero IQ, which would be some bullshit, and then I definitely don't know what I would do. I wouldn't be able to take the court. I mean, I'm hoping it's the first thing. So they just talked to me about, I mean, if it is the rest of, I think that that's what it is, is the rest, rest of the fucking registration. Because if someone, like, let's say, like, all my past friends are into some shit, and you're just making up stories, just trying to fucking throw someone out the bus for some dumb shit, then that's on them. You know, it's not on I'll go to court for it, which means that they have to let me out if they do go to court. And I'm definitely asking one of the officers to drop me off at home. Um, I'll drop my address to the pet store, pick up some pee pads for the dog, pick up some dog food. If the weed store's open, I can pick up some weed for my mom. Um, get ready for my court date. Um, I can definitely talk to the public defender, all that good stuff. Figure it out. And oh, I hear footsteps. Oh, please. Yes. Hi. Hello. Cyrus. Yeah, Cyrus and Julia. Nice to meet you. Julia. Nice to meet you as well. You okay on water? Uh, yeah, I'm good on water. Okay. Comfortable, hungry? Anything else? Mm, no, I'm chilling. What do we? Uh, okay, what do we fair enough. So. Water? Okay. Comfortable, hungry, anything else? Mm. No, I'm chilling. What do we uh, what Okay, do we fair enough. About? So, can you just do me a favor and just have a seat over here and I'll sit all down? Thanks. Have a seat, one. Well, thanks. I appreciate it. It's so cold outside. I can't believe you're wearing shorts. Yeah, I was just about to take my sister to work and then all the officers pulled up and were like, hey, what's going on? And I'm like, oh, I didn't. they didn't even remember my Miranda rights. Okay. My Miranda rights. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Fair enough. So, um, well, I'll go ahead and, and read those to you um, so that you're aware of them. So, uh, Miranda Wright say that you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say may be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to the presence of an attorney prior to questioning and to have one present during questioning if you so desire. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed to you free of charge prior to questioning. Do you understand those? Yes. Okay. So, Having um, heard those and understand those, are you okay in answering some questions for me? Well, it depends on what they are. Okay, fair enough. Um, so, that being said, I'll ask you some questions. If there's a point where you don't want to answer, just let me know. Okay. okay. First of all, your hat is stunning with Kermit the Frog. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My I sister so. gave it to me. I'm bald underneath, so. Uh -huh. I was trying to steal her other beanie, but she was like, no, that's my beanie. I'm like, can I have a different one then? She's like, you look good in pink. There you go. I like it. It's pretty impressive. I've definitely never seen that. So, yeah. Hopefully, I'll be be able to continue wearing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. So, um, so you, um, we're told you have um, worn out for your rest. So that's true. So I want a chance to talk to you. So I don't know if you remember. I had talked to you over the phone last week. Do you recall that? Oh, about the DNA thing. Yeah. So oh, I had talked you? to you about. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah, same person. So now you have a face with a voice and know what that is. So, um, yeah, so I had some questions for you and I guess if we can just back up a little bit and can you Um, is this a Papa John's or Domino's? I can't remember. Um, you must have had several jobs. Yeah, I know. That's yeah. why I'm like, uh, and I forget faces so easily, and I don't remember names. Okay. Um, that's why I'm like, that's why I'm like, if I if I do talk to a lawyer, it would help me kind of uh, gather up my thoughts. Mm -hmm. 
Um, but of course that would take time and I'd have to go to the uh, public defender's office, which is an old town, mm. which that means I wouldn't be here, which mm -hmm. means questioning would probably stop or I'd be in a cell and then you guys would give me an attorney and then I'd be here for like 30 days or something. I don't know how that all works. Yeah. And I don't, I don't know how all that plays out. Um, as far as the different steps of that. So I guess to, to answer your question, um, so it sounds like you had a couple of jobs working at both Papa Murphy's and Domino's. Is that? Papa John's, Papa and, John's. and Domino's. Okay. And I, I thought this was about like the registration thing because I completely forgot to um, put that into uh, like come here and re-register saying different jobs and stuff, you know? And that's what I was oh, thinking okay. this whole thing was for. I was like, oh, Buck. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Because you had switched jobs and hadn't had a chance to that so. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Um, so when did you switch jobs? Oh, shit. Um, what's today? Today is February. Let me just Probably April. Oh, okay. Something like that. Like April, like April something. I don't know. It was in April something. Um, okay. So you switched jobs a while ago and just hadn't had a chance to come in. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. So I'm I'm not concerned about that. I mean that's you know one thing, and I can certainly pass that information on and um, and you can get that part. Yeah. Away I can so. I can go down there right now and just tell them I'm I'm at home. I'm staying home and mm -hmm. I'm cleaning and playing video games. Gotcha. It's really my life. Yeah. Now. Pretty sedentary right now. Yeah. Um, so I was, you had asked me the question as far as that you originally asked me. It was just like, well, where, like, who, who was this person? Mm -hmm. I don't remember their name. Remember Kenya or something like that? Or Kansas? Mm -hmm. Uh, Kimberly. Um, uh, Sierra, Sam, uh, what's her name? Desiree. I, I don't, I don't remember. Uh, uh, work with the other people that you were mentioning. Um, Desiree, I met randomly. She's pretty chill. Uh, she was, I accidentally I pulled up to an ENT bank thing and I accidentally honked mm -hmm. my horn because my horns are little buttons on the side of the steering wheel and I was turning and she comes on over and she was like telling me that, Hey, can I get a ride? I need to go down the road. I'm like, yeah, sure. So I drove her all the way down the road and um, she was telling me about her life and how she was addicted to meth and heroin and all this stuff. And now she's living with like a 65 year old creep that like constantly like hits on her like, mm -hmm. Oh, you live in my house. You should, we should do stuff. And she's 24. So I'm like, huh? Wow. I want to talk to him. She's like, no, don't talk to him. I'm like, mm -hmm. what? How is he going to know that that's not okay unless you talk to him about it? Yeah. yeah. And then. So that seemed pretty off to you that she's with this guy who's, what, almost three times her age? Yeah. Well, that and, like, she's told me that he's, like, hit on her, like, severely bad and, like, creepy. Like, mm -hmm. really, like, he stays up all night, like, staring at her while she's sleeping. Yeah. Like, she'll, like, crack her eyes so she can see, and he's just like, <laughs> why? Mm. Why? <laughs> yeah, that's some weird shit right there. Yeah, that would that would absolutely make me uncomfortable. That would make you pull up the nine. <laughs> yeah, said, hello. And that and that's not concerning to her. No, she she told me to basically just like fuck off because I told her if she had to, she can sleep in my car. You know, mm -hmm. if she really had to, because you know it's a safe it's safer than in his place if if he tries to do anything because he was telling her that he had weapons and shit. And I was like. What the fuck? He's telling you he got weapons. He want to do shit with you, and you're telling him no. And he keeps on continuing to hit on you. Like that's not okay. Yeah. Um, and then Sam, I met her at Affy. It was an alter where? alternative homes for youth. Oh, okay. Where's yeah. that? Uh, it's in Greeley. I was there for some of my sentence back in 2017, and okay. uh, I said hi to her I, and. We talked a little bit and then we went our separate ways because she, uh, I think she got married and has kids now. And then, uh, who is it? Uh, what was I say? Uh, shit. Uh, 
Oh, uh, was it Destiny? I think it was Destiny. Sense. Yeah, Destiny. Destiny was actually really chill. We'd go mm -hmm. everywhere. We'd walk around, and um, I take her shopping, and um, we'd have fun and throw snowballs at each other, and um, she would talk to my sister. And, um, it was, it was, it was a really fun time. And then she was like, I gotta move, and then she moved like two weeks ago, and I haven't seen her since or heard from her at all. And you met her where? I met her. I think I was just shopping at like Walmart and I think I dropped something and she was like, let me help you get that. And I was like, all right. And then we just started talking. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Um, and that was pretty cool. And then uh, who was the other one? Taylor? I think I said Taylor. A Taylor. No, no, I didn't say Taylor. I don't know if I said Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> there was a lot. It's yeah, like, there's a lot. Yeah. So you must meet a lot of people, it seems like. Yeah, here and there. I've been... Well, after I left uh, uh, Pop John's, I have just been staying at home. I haven't gone out much. I've been helping my little sister try to get back in school. She's been mm -hmm. hanging out with this dude, Houston, and they have been just not going to school. They've been doing dumb things. I'm telling them, hey, go to school. I'll even give you all 50 bucks every week mm -hmm. if you all start going to school. Yeah. What grade is she in? She's in, she's 15. So she's in high school. Gotcha. Um, and then Houston's in high school as well. Mm -hmm. uh, Houston's going to go to a different high school, though. He's wanting to switch. And hopefully she wants to switch as well, because that high school is, is bad. Like, apparently she was offered pills and all these things from that school. And I'm like... Seems... Where like, does she go? Uh, it's... So you know where my house is, right? Uh, ish, yeah. The, Christian Shields. You know the, the closest high school right there? Mm -hmm. um, is that yeah. Rocky? Yeah, Rocky. Okay. She goes to Rocky, and uh, I don't I don't know how you guys haven't put the dogs in there yet. Like I've heard a lot of crazy shit. Same with Fort Collins High. Fort Collins High is bad. Yeah, especially with the kids at the park. Mm -hmm. That's not cool. <laughs> I used to be one of those kids at the park back in 2017, and all we would do is smoke weed over at the park. It was crazy. Well, yeah, I might feel like kids that age, you know, they can they can find trouble if they want it. So <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. So since working. Since quitting work, you've just been hanging out at home mostly? Yeah, I've been hanging out at home. I've been playing games. I have a whole bunch of online friends now. I never mm -hmm. thought that I'd meet people on there that just wanted to talk and chill with me. Mm -hmm. And so now I'm playing. I play For Honor, which is like a, there's like Vikings, Samurai, Knights. And they, there's like 10 different characters on each. And you can just play with them. They got different armor sets and different combos. It's, it's really cool. Yeah. I'm surprised I haven't uh, hit the top of the leaderboard. <laughs> it's goals. We'll get there. Exactly. Happen, so, absolutely. Uh, so you you mentioned that you had which job did you quit in April? I guess I'm confused. I think it was the Papa John's. Papa John's. Okay. The dumb, wait, before that was the Domino's, but I was there for fat and then I left. And then what was the job before that? Oh, I was in Green. I was in Pueblo West. So how long did you work at Papa John's? I two worked months. there, I think it was two to three months. Two to three months. Okay. Maybe four. Possibly. I think it was four. Okay. And that was of last year? And you... No, it was this year. Okay. I think it was this year. Wait, when did... Wait, April's the first of the year, right? January. January? Mm -hmm. So January, February, March, April. April was... It was like... No. I think it might have been the beginning of this year. The very beginning of this year is whenever I left. No, whenever I started, and then I left April. Gosh, I got to get all the paperwork for that. Okay, <laughs> no worries. Um, and then, and when were you working at Domino's? Uh, I think it was last year, the end of last year, like October, November, or something like that. Okay, and you said you just worked there for a fat minute. Yeah, I worked there for five minutes, um, and I think, well, I, no, I was only there for, like, t two months. Okay. Probably, like, two, two months. Two months. And then I had left, and uh, then I tried to apply at King Supers, mm -hmm. where my sister works, didn't work out. I tried to apply at Safeway, it didn't work out. Target, Petco, all those other places didn't work out. So now I'm not working. Mm -hmm. I'm just, I'm just vibing. I've been helping out my mom more than anything. Yeah. 
Yeah. It's hard to find jobs right now. I mean, oh. It seems like there's a lot of places that are, are say they're hiring, but they're not really taking many applicants, it seems. Are you guys hiring? We're always hiring. Yeah. I'll work for yeah. you guys. I don't yeah, mind will. that. They will. But you have patience. We're always hiring. So. Exactly. Um, so staying home, taking care of mom. Yeah. Yeah. Because she's she works for mom. So okay. She'll be in her room and I'll like clean the house. If she needs mm -hmm. coffee or something, some food yeah. for lunch, I'll cook it up. Nice. Seems pretty good. I wish I got a stay at home job. That would be awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Especially days like now where it's freezing both sides. So. Um, so you were working at Domino's for a couple of months, and you said you quit there. Mm -hmm. I was Wait. just like, I was just like, no, because someone heard me, you know, I hear a hustle of conversation, and they didn't like that, so they tried to blackmail me, and I did not like that at all, so I left. And I can't handle, yeah, I couldn't handle that, so I was like, okay, well, I'm gone. I walked in one day, I was just like, I quit, bye, and I mm -hmm. left. <laughs> <laughs> Was, yeah. So you said somebody overheard a conversation and didn't like no, it? I overheard a conversation because okay. one of the employees was banging their manager and they were talking to each other about, you know, all that stuff. And they looked at me and were like, you didn't hear a damn thing. And I was like, yeah, you're right. I didn't hear anything. Mm -hmm. But then they continued to talk about it and they continued to think that I was going to say something about it. And then they tried to say that they were going to say some shit since they were female and they were going to say I did some shit to them that I didn't. And so I was like, nope, I'm fucking gone. So I grabbed all my stuff and left. Gotcha. Yeah. Sounds and that's like a mess. It was yeah. a big mess. I don't, I got called by cops. I got called by her. I, the, it was a giant mishap. And I was like, I can't get blackmailed. Mm -hmm. Like, like I could, I could just be like, fuck it. Fine. I won't do anything. Just, just talk shit on me. And then just go with the flow, get locked up for some twenty years, and fucking deal with it. But I, I am, I have a life out here, and sure. I have opportunities that are coming up. Like my mom, she wants me to get into the online business as well because mm -hmm. I want to start doing coding. Like I want to do programming and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, big Yeah. So you're saying a lot of things in there that seem like they were important. I'm not sure I'm following all of them. So you you said you were at work and heard people talking about being the manager. No, they were. Like, they've known each other for five years. Then one of them turned into a manager. The other one got hired as just an employee, not a manager. And they were fucking mm -hmm. in the freezer and they were fucking in the back and just all this stuff. And they were talking about it and then they were you know, going to the bathroom sometimes and doing whatever. And I noticed and I heard and I was like, oh, well, we got to leave it at that. And then they thought that I was going to say something because the manager got really scared and was like, if you tell anyone that I'll lose my job and I'll beat your ass. And then the other chick was like, yeah, well, I mean, I probably wouldn't lose my job, but I'll beat your ass. And I'm like, I'm like, I'm not going to say anything. Like, I'm not a snitch. And they didn't believe me, so they kept on talking. And we're like, oh, we're going to blackmail you, or we're going to do this, we're going to call the police. We're going to get them involved. I'm like, go ahead, get them involved. You can go ahead and talk to me, because mm -hmm. guess what? Since you made a false claim about something, now they can actually arrest you. <laughs> gotcha. that's, that's what I was telling them. Is like, okay. if they... So they were concerned that you were going to say something about the fact that they were together. Mm -hmm. And why why would that be an issue? Because no one else knew. And the GM was really strict about that mm -hmm. stuff. The GM even talked to one of them and was like, hey, I think you two are together. If you guys are, y'all can't be doing anything. Okay. And so the, are, are there rules at Domino's that you can't be yeah, there's, dating other employees? Or, or what is that? You just can't be fucking your manager. Yeah, you can't. Okay. So, like, I think you can date other, like, employee, employee. Mm -hmm. But, like, if you're a manager dating an employee, then it's like, let's say this employee does something bad, mm -hmm. right? Like, let's say they spill a shit ton of soda, right? Right. Now, since their boyfriend is a manager mm -hmm. or their girlfriend's manager, then they can be like, hey, it's okay, da -da 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 -da, instead of being like, hey, what the fuck? You know, clean it up. And okay. So, it's like they would play favorites or something. Yes. So, you're not supposed to be dating a manager because a manager might treat that person differently. Yes. Is that accurate? Mm -hmm. Okay. So they were concerned that you were going to say something to the manager or to somebody else about that. Yeah, which is you crazy. You weren't going to. 
And like, but they said we're gonna beat you up or kick your ass. I can't remember exactly what you said. They were gonna. Uh, the the other lady, she was like, I'm gonna beat your ass. She's like, I don't hate girls, but for you, I'll make an exception. Or I'm like, oh, that's some bullshit. Mm -hmm. And then uh, turns out that actually the GM there sent messages to another manager asking if um, if her and the GM and her GM's husband could have a threesome. And uh, the manager that was together with the other chick is the one that has all the messages of that on her phone. She said that she still has them just in case, one, unless the GM says something about her and the employee being together or something. It was a giant fucking how, thing. And how did you find out about all that? I got told by the employee, the one that was dating her, because she was a little mad at me, and she was just, she was a little fucking hot. I don't know what was going on. She was a hothead. She was like a firecracker. She just started popping off on things that she didn't even know about. Okay. Like, she was like, yeah, you look like a fucking pedophile, da 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 like this and that. And I'm like, I'm like, damn, you, like, I don't know you like that. I wasn't going to say nothing. I wasn't going to do nothing. I was going to leave it as is. I was quitting my job. Like, I quit my job. Like, I told her, I'm like, I'm quitting my job so that you guys know for a fact I ain't going to say nothing. <laughs> and they're like, then fucking leave. And then I left. And then she calls me. And it's like, I'm telling the police, I need you to say these things. I'm like, Okay say things i said things and then i was like are you happy now she's like yeah i got it all and i'm like fucking nice now can you leave me alone she's like yeah i'll leave you alone i'm like okay thank you hung up the phone haven't heard from her and then i got a call from you mm -hmm. and then that's it yeah and then it's just so what are the names of all the people that you were talking to you said there's a gm do you remember the gm's name it's the gm at the domino store on harmony it's the only one uh she's a thicker lady and then there's a there's this black chick manager and she's the only african-american manager and she is with the employee i don't remember the employee's name uh, i remember what she looks like like if y'all had like the screening room with like the numbers and shit like, so you don't remember the name of the general manager and don't remember the name of the manager and the employee who were dating each other. No. I remember okay. their faces very clearly. I remember okay. faces. Like, I can see you, like, in, in like, 90 years. Gotcha. You'll yeah. be able to remember that. Yes, yeah. I'll remember your face, okay. but I won't remember okay. your name. <laughs> um, so, so that I understand, they were saying all this stuff because they were afraid you were going to say something, and they were threatening to kick your ass, and then they said they were going to blackmail you. What was the blackmailing part? blackmailing part she was just like well i could say that you hit me which then would be assault which then i could turn it into sexual assault and then i could do this and that because mm -hmm. i don't know what was going through her head but she said that she was like i've read up on all the all the shit that females can do nowadays like i'm like okay cool you ain't gotta abuse your power like this like i understand she, and like, where was it happening when she was saying all those things to you it was over the phone Okay. And I was just like, I was like, just stop talking to me. Mm -hmm. And then I deleted our messages, our conversations, everything. And I blocked her and I left it at that. And I was just done after she talked to me about all the bad things that she could say and try to have happen to me. Okay. So like, she said that she was going to say that you had assaulted her and then that could turn to sexual assault. Okay. Yeah. And then she said that if I don't go with it, that she knows where I live since she's GFs with the manager and so they might pull up to my house, which I'm worried about because I have a little sister and a mom mm -hmm. and I have a dog and I have two cats. And if they do That's anything to any of them, mm -hmm. I'm going to have to drop kick a girl. And I don't want to do that. Sure. Well, you know? I hear you. I'm sure you don't. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so you said that they, they were going to blackmail you by saying that you had assaulted them her or sexually assaulted her uh, but you don't remember her name you said you talked on the the phone how did you guys get each other's phone numbers do you remember she got my phone number because she i think she was on the computer and looked at my file and she saw my phone number and just randomly gave me that a works. buzz okay yeah so was... she was looking at the computer file or got your number mm -hmm. okay so Which when did she mom. first reach out to you forever ago i don't know to be honest it was forever ago it was months ago months ago that's okay. why i'm like so was it it was months ago that she's she started with those conversations as far as like i'm going to blackmail you mm -hmm. 
Okay. And prior to that, had you guys talked at all over the phone? No. I mean, whenever we were at work, like, we would say hi and joke around. But I joked around with everyone, all the employees. So it wasn't just her. And I would talk to everyone. And we had a lot of good times there. You know, like, I joked around with a lot of the other managers. And it was pretty cool. You know, I loved working there. But the second that, like, I guess I heard the wrong conversation at the wrong time and I was in the wrong place, then shit hit the fan. And it wasn't me. And it wasn't my problem. It was their problem because they were the ones that were so worried and paranoid about the whole situation. They just dug themselves a hole. And I'm surprised that if they are still working there, I'm surprised they are because that is some bullshit. And that's weird. It makes it gives me butterflies in my stomach whenever I think about a manager banging their employee. Like, like, I've had beautiful managers before that have, like, flirted with me. But, like, getting into it, like, mm. Yeah. So for you, that's off limits. Yeah. For me, that's off limits. Okay. So they had that conversation with you at, at the store. And then there was some conversation about the blackmail over the phone. And it, and you quit when you were at the store. Like, so I, what was the, can you kind of tell me like what the order of that was? Like, so you're at the store. So like I was at the store mm -hmm. and then they told me whatever. I went home, I was home all night, mm -hmm. played games. And then next day, walked into work uh, after, and then I told them I'm quitting. And then that night that like I got home mm -hmm. and like I told them like, hey, deuces, I'm quitting. I got a call and then she started telling me all these things. And I was like, I was just like, what the fuck? Okay. So, so you quit. Who, who did you tell you were quitting? I think, I think I called and it was one of the guy managers. Oh, because like, I, I was, said you, you no, were like I in the store in, and you quit and took yeah, yourself that, and left. Like I walked in. And okay. the managers weren't up there, and I'm not going to go to the back of the store in order to find someone. So I called them as they were back there, and they answered the phone, and they came waved, and I was like, I'm quitting, by it. And then I left. And then... So help me understand that you you went to the store, mm -hmm. into the store, the managers weren't there, and so then you called mm -hmm. and they were from like in the inside the store. store. Yeah, they were in the back of the store. And I didn't have my outfit on, so I couldn't walk back there. Okay. So I had to stay up front, okay. and I was like, hello? Nobody heard me. I think mm -hmm. someone had headphones on and they were just on the computer. Okay. And so I gave them a call. They were like, I'm like, I'm quitting. Bye. And they were like, wait, are you here? I'm like, yeah. Give me a wave. And I was like, bye. Okay. Left. Okay. What did you tell them about why you were quitting? I didn't. I didn't tell them about why I was quitting. I just, okay. that's how I quit jobs is if, if I quit, I just quit. I don't work. I don't, I just say bye and I don't hit them up. The only time I hit them up is whenever it comes to tax season and I ask for my W-2s and that's it. Okay. And, f and you didn't tell them your reason to quit, but you knew your reason. So why were you quitting? I, I, I was quitting because at the end of the day, like if I stayed there, they could have just given me like, they could have fucked with my money. They could have fucked with my money. What, what that mean? What that means. So it happened to me whenever I first started working there, like the first week they were fucking with me. Like they were giving they were skipping me, so it goes in order, right? Next pizza gets the next purse, right? Mm -hmm. Well, I'd be at the top of the list, and there'd be like five people behind me. Right. And I'd be in the store the entire time, mm -hmm. and they wouldn't let me out. They wouldn't let me go take deliveries. They'd send everyone else on deliveries. And I'd be walking home with like 20 bucks. So. I did. I walked home with 20 bucks for like a whole yeah. week. Mm -hmm. And then after that, they I guess they got used to me, and they were like, all right, well... Go on that delivery, go on that delivery, run a double, run a triple. And then I was making like 150 bucks after that. But that first week, okay. like that got me scared thinking that like, I was also thinking about that as I was, as she was telling me that she might blackmail me. It's like, what if, what if I go back to work? What if I continue just working there? Mm -hmm. I just, whatever. If they try to physically hurt me, I just fucking tell the police, you know, and move on. Okay. And then I'm like, well, what if they start fucking with my money? Like they tell me I can't go on runs or I can't. I can't work, basically. Right. I just got yeah. to do dishes. Okay. So you're pretty worried about not being treated fairly, not being able to make the kind of money that you're supposed to. Mm -hmm. So when you first are working there, you said that they sort of have an order. And so they would skip you. Mm -hmm. um, and they're not supposed how is to. It, how is it supposed to work? It's supposed to be one right after the other. So, like, if one pizza comes out, it would be number one. And the first person that's there takes that pizza. 
Second okay. pizza, the second person takes it. Okay. And, and does the rotation just keep going mm -hmm. through? So what if someone has like a, a delivery that takes a really long time? And so they had been number one in rotation, but they come back and it takes longer and they're behind. Oh, no, no, Are no. they still next or how does it work? No, so it's like, it's like pizza delivery. They come back, whenever they come back, then they clock in and it'll put them in the line. Okay, so go. then you're next in line yeah. by the order you come back in. Yeah, so you're okay. next in okay. line. Um, and but they weren't, they weren't doing that. So how are they not doing that? They were doing that for the first week, and so I knew that they could do it, mm -hmm. and that's what scared me. Okay. Not the fact that they were doing it before I left, but the fact that they could do it if I were to stay. Okay. That's what scared me. Okay. So it's not as if you can go in and can you intentionally skip the line, or if there's somewhere that you've gone before, can you be like, hey, I know that place, I'll take that one? Yeah, you could. You could You could uh, plug yourself in, like you could... Uh, you could order your own order, so you can like, you can like click on your name, and then you click on the orders that you want to take, and you can take. I think it's up to three is the most. I think okay. three is the most that you can take because if you take a fourth, then it's not okay. Okay. Um, and then you can click on all three, especially if they're close in like clumps. Then you can take all three of them in that little area. And, okay. But then the other person still is would be the next one to go. But yeah. if you're up, then you can look at that screen and say, hey, I'll take this one, this one, this one. Yeah, which okay. even if I do that, the managers have another screen that is, um, it's by the make line. You'll see it whenever you walk on in there. It's where they fold all the pizza in the boxes Okay. And in order to put them on the shelf. And on that screen, you can do the same stuff uh, as the other screen. And if they really wanted to, let's say I was going on a triple, mm -hmm. they could be like, no, I don't want you to run this triple. Okay. I don't want you to run anything. Go to the back, do some dishes. Yeah, okay. They, they play play. okay. Yeah. So when you were working there, how often would you be able to look at the screen and say, I want to pick these? Um, once in a while. It was pretty good, though, like mm -hmm. with everyone going in order, you know. Okay. But I just know that if, if they really wanted to, mm -hmm. like, actually, another time, actually, yes, it happened one day. Um, I only made like 10 bucks in tips and I was there for eight hours. Which is some bullshit. Yeah. yeah. Not making any money there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I, there was, I think it was three drivers. So it was me and two other people. Mm -hmm. And we were getting rushed. Like we had pizzas back to back. And all they wanted me to do was just sweep, mm -hmm. break down boxes, dishes. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, why can't I do runs? Like we're getting packed. Right. And they're like, and most of your money's in tips, I'm assuming. Yes. Okay. Uh, I think that, yeah, because I'd walk home with like 150 bucks in tips every day. And then, nice. Like a six hundred dollar paycheck, which added up to around twelve hundred every month. Mm -hmm. Something yeah, like that. that's good. Yeah. So sometimes they would skip you over and do that, and sometimes were there times that you then would pick to see which ones you want to take, so you can take a triple or once are close together. That's like that's like here and there. It's mm -hmm. it's not like I could do that like every day, right? Because um, I just wasn't like mentally like capable of doing that constantly like i don't like being on the road 24 7. gotcha <laughs> like i like driving i love driving yeah. but i can't constantly be on the road and so if i'd run like a double and they're both on other opposite sides of town right then i'm gonna come back and i'm gonna stay there for like 30 minutes mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> you know, yeah like, you about. yeah okay i'd be like hey i'm doing dishes right now so the times that you would choose how would you choose those Mm, usually whenever they were really close, like if there was a double and they were like right next to each other, like the next apartment right next to each other, then mm -hmm. I would be like, hey, can I run this double? And they'd be like, but either they'd say yes or no. If they said yes, then I'd be like, all right. And then I'd clock myself out on it. If they said no, then I'd be like, what do I, what do you need me to do? If they're like dishes, I'd be like, okay, gotcha. let's just go do dishes instead of taking the double, mm -hmm. even if I'm next on the list. Yeah. Sometimes when, so. Yeah. Because you got to listen to your manager, right? Because if you don't listen to the manager, then they could they be like, hey, you're not scheduled today. And they can mess with the schedule, which means you mm -hmm. can't work. Yeah. And yeah. So for you, it feels like the managers have a lot of control over, say, or over no. what you're working, what job you're working while you're there, how many runs you're taking, how many tips you're taking. So they're pretty influential. They're all in cahoots. Yeah. That's that's why I mainly am saying is, like, that whole store is in cahoots. Um 
man, that's why I can give a damn less about anyone in that store mm-hmm. or whatever stories or lies they have to say about anything yeah. that I've said, done, tried to do, acted upon, tried to fucking do a front flip off a bridge. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> they, yeah. Can, yeah. they can go to hell. <laughs> yeah. Cause that's Sounds not... like you've cut your ties and you're done. Yeah. yeah. Like, even... Have you had any contact with any of them since you left? Mm-hmm. Okay. Nope. After I got black, blackmailed and threatened, I blocked mm-hmm. everyone. I haven't been back to the store. I haven't even ordered Domino's. I have told my mom, I'm like, Mom, don't ever get delivery for Domino's ever again in your entire you're life. Done, you're done with it. So, yeah, so you, um, you said that the two, the manager and the girl that were dating both together were going to blackmail you. Is that what I'm understanding? So who was it that then called you? No, the employee was going to blackmail me because the manager was like, like, I can't talk to him because what if, you know, he'll have my number and then what if he goes talks to police, da 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 Okay. And so the employee is the one that did it because if she gets fired, then at least the manager still have the jobs and they can still live with each other um, later on, which is what I guess I heard. I don't fucking okay. know. Okay. So that employee just called you that one time? Okay. Yeah. And I was like, okay, cool. Mm-hmm. Just left it at that. Okay. And then you said that you blocked her. Mm-hmm. And when you blocked her, what did you block her from? I blocked her from Snapchat uh, and blocked her from phone. Like, I deleted her number, blocked her number, and just left it at that. Because I was getting everyone's Snapchat when it right first came on in to Domino's. Because okay. what if I needed someone to pick up my shift? Sure. You know, that's, and that's, that's what I was telling them. It's like, hey, y'all got a snap? And they're like, yeah. i be like, can I get your snap? So just in case I need to ask someone to pick up my shift for tomorrow. And they're like, yeah. So I, I had everyone's snap. But I deleted everyone's snap. And I blocked everyone from that store. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't remember any of them. I could hardly care less. Okay. So you asked for her, really for pretty much everybody's snap, but then you blocked her. Did you guys ever communicate via Snapchat? Uh, No. Okay. I don't. I don't think that we did. I just had it on there because I was just getting everyone's. I never. Sure. Maybe I said hi. I okay. think I maybe said hi because mm-hmm. I said hi to everyone. Okay. I was just like hi, it's Iris. Hi, I'm here. God. I'm alive. <laughs> so the only time you communicated with um, with her, aside from in person at work, was maybe saying hi on Snapchat, and then the time on the phone. Mm-hmm. And did you guys? It was a phone call, like a voice phone call, like pers- like. It was a phone call, and then okay. she told me to send her a whole bunch of fucked up messages. And I'm like, cool, but what she, do you mean by that? Like, she told me to basically snitch on myself for something I didn't do. She basically was telling me, "All right, I need you to say these things." She called me and told me, "I need you to say these things," and she told me. I wrote them down. I typed them in. I sent them, and then I ripped up the paper sent them and then I deleted it and then blocked her number which means that she probably screenshotted and or has them which if she wanted to go to court then she would show that but it was blackmail and I don't have anything to defend myself with that Mm -hmm. which is real bullshit and that's one reason why I just was like okay I'm just gonna cut my ties quit my job and that should be good that should be good enough so she called you and said she wants you to say these things and so then you wrote those things down and then you typed them to her when you typed them what do you mean by you're typing them like i've texted them. you're texting okay yeah okay. and then i was like i was like there are you happy she's like yeah i'm happy and i'm like okay cool bye <laughs> fucking delete yeah. block and then i i think that same day i went to golden corral you good yeah. <laughs> what do you like at golden corral um i just that buffet man oh that's so good i I think my favorite is probably like the little chicken strips, mm-hmm. like little chicken strips. You still have fried okra? Oh, wait, really? Mm, I don't know. I haven't been in a while. So you guys do they? Do you want to go? Uh, I, I, not right now, but <laughs> next week. <laughs> There's always next week. There's always next week. So. Yeah. Um, so you, what was she wanting you to say? She was wanting me, I think it was about like, her, like about rape and about all these things like me just saying sorry for something I didn't do like she wanted me to say I'm sorry for doing nothing basically so I, I was like hey I'm sorry for doing this I'm sorry for doing that sorry for listening to your conversation sorry for um, possibly going to tell on you sorry for no uh, 
you know, rave, sorry for this, sorry for that. And I'm like, I'm like, in the back of my mind, I'm like, none of this shit is fucking true. Even if they're together, it doesn't matter to me. It's not my fucking So life. why do you think she wanted you to say all those things? Because she told me, she was like, I want to use these against you if you ever try to tell on us. And I'm like, okay, cool. Use them against me. Fucking have them. So you know I'm not going to fucking tell on you guys. But then this happens, and I got to talk to you. Okay. So. so your understanding was that she wanted to have something to hold over your head to mm -hmm. keep you from saying something about the fact that she was dating the manager. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fucking the manager. Okay. So how how does she decide that she wants you to say that stuff about rape and what is what is her saying on that? Uh, her being a female and just having the power of a female. That's basically what she was saying because I've noticed that nowadays like I've had I had a friend back at AFI which is Alternative Homes for Youth who mm -hmm. who was in jail for two years just because like they didn't have no DNA, they didn't have no camera, they didn't have no audio, they didn't have no nothing on anything of the yeah. situation. And all she said was that he raped me. And he was like, his mom was like, hey, you should just go to jail and just get through with the program. You'll come out a better person. Mm -hmm. So he was in there and he did two years and he got on his 21st birthday and he was like, I fucking hate the system. I hate females. I'm going gay. And then he went gay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I was like, it is what it is. I mean, yeah. democracy. What can you do? So she was saying stuff. Of, she was saying stuff about female power or that's your understanding of what she was wanting. To no, she was saying things about female power. Okay. She was bragging about her, her, she was so entitled. It just, it pissed me off mm -hmm. to the, that's whenever I just had to block her and stop listening to her convo. So I was like, okay, cool. You're a female. I get mm -hmm. it. Just leave it at that. <laughs> like, damn, I'm not with you. I'm not so, dating you. So help me understand like what she's saying about female power and then about the rape. Like, can you talk me through like what that conversation looked like? Okay. So. Well, a general understanding of female power is like, especially nowadays with the legal system, is that if, so an accusation, it, it, so you can accuse, so let's say I'm female, and this guy is an asshole, I mean complete asshole, mm -hmm. he's like, fuck you, you're ugly, if a female just yells, rape, and there's someone around the corner that just hears that shit, one, they're probably going to come around the corner and start swinging on the poor mm -hmm. dude, for no reason, even if all he said that you were, you know, just being an asshole. Mm -hmm. um, or like, let's say you're at a workplace and you hug someone, right? And they didn't like the hug. You were like, hey, give me a hug. And they're like, I don't know. And, you know, you just hug them. They could be like, rape. And even that is like, it, since it was non-consensual, it would be considered rape, which then would get someone locked up, especially if there was camera footage of them hugging them whenever the female clearly said to stop. And then uh, even even just voice audio recording of, of a female saying, hey, I don't want you to do that to me. And then the guy's like, hey, well, how about this? And then they just give each other a high five mm -hmm. and there's just audio. They can use that audio and be like, oh, well, all we heard was a clap, which means which is she says that you hit her, then you hit her. And she told you to stop, which you didn't stop, and you just hit her, and mm -hmm. that's right. You know what I mean? It, uh, well, I'm guessing you know what I mean. I don't know. Okay. So I, I think I understand some of what you're saying, is that it feels like a female can be upset about something that a male is doing, whether it's just being rude or even just asking for how they don't want it, mm -hmm. and the female can say something, and it's going to be interpreted as something the male did wrong yes and you use the word rape so when you think of rape what does that what does that mean to you because i've heard you say like a hug or high fives or well, hitting so what what for you means rape well it's anything that's unconsensual to me it's anything that is uh it could be very violent physically it could be um very gentle physically it could be it, it could be anything as long as it, if it's interpreted the wrong way it could literally be anything you could you could say rape for anything i could i could say rape for anything but since i'm a male it wouldn't be interpreted as rape since i have the power to defend myself against a female you see what i'm saying since i'm a strong since the thought of a male being stronger than a female is in the back of the government's mind 
it's like a, it's a, it's a thing. It's just a thing, okay. and I can't, I can't fathom it. It sucks that, like, people say gender equality, and I'm like, mm -hmm. I'm like, I believe in gender equality. Like, everyone should get paid the same. Everyone should, you know, be able to do what they want. And it, some people don't think that, and I don't understand why people don't think that. Why they're not like, okay, same wages for everyone. All right, sure. same retirement. You know, give everyone the same benefits of the doubt. You know, at the end of the day. So for you, when you uh, there's obviously that power differential that you talk about, it, but when you talk about rape, is there a distinction for you between a slap, derogatory words, sexual intimacy? Is it all lumped into one, or are there differences in there? They're they're pretty much all lumped into one. The reason why is because it's all based on the perception of one person, which is. The detective and or the officer and or whoever whoever heard the conversation or heard what happened it, it doesn't it's like it, if one person convinces the other person then it's solid and it's there and it's how it is it doesn't matter about the other's perspective and like I like going to court because sometimes it's easier to get other people's perspective, mm -hmm. but I don't like going to court because if let's say that person has someone that's on the board, then they're fucked and they're going to jail no matter what. And it's like, it's just an abuse of power um, of other people's power. It's like using other people. Like if, if she's blackmailing me, then she's going to try to use the power of someone else in order to hinder me from existing mm -hmm. or from being out in the community and it's for her own benefit so nobody would say anything about her being with anyone doing anything with anyone and that's 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 what i've noticed it to be like i have you've seen my other charges right um some of them yeah yes yeah, so and i went to therapy for two years uh -huh. I, I was basically studying word by word yep. and i went through I, like, I got approved by my therapist, I got approved by my whole team, I just haven't gone to court yet and filed the paperwork to get off the registering. Okay. Because I heard that the law is changing with the juvenile, is like, after a certain amount of time, everything will just get expunged. And so I was just going to write it out and show you guys, like, hey, you know, I've been out for this long, you guys can definitely expunge me, and that shit's happened. But now that this is happening, I don't know. And so now I'm definitely going to have to file paperwork in order to get off the registry um, and I'm gonna have to probably go to court for this I don't know if she wants to press charges or what's happening there do you know what's okay. happening well well you have a warrant out for it so that's so a warrant have charges for it oh so she's charging me she's giving me charges right, so a warrant for that correct okay so she's willing to go to court yeah all right then we should set a court date <laughs> yeah. and awesome. I'm not I'm not in charge of it and and honestly that's that's what a lot of this conversation is for to have an understanding of what happened and that's also what court is for so everyone has an understanding of what happened and i think that's what i'm trying to get a, a sense of too you know and i've heard you talk about what she wanted you to do um and sort of your apologies in there and and to you you feel like that's you're apologizing for things that you didn't you didn't do yeah i'm um, apologizing so, for things i didn't do. um and so um so now that we've sort of had a chance to talk about it and remind, can you kind of who we're referring to? You do you know now who, who I'm talking? Um, so she says, she gets upset because she's, as you said, she's banging the manager. You find out about it. She's concerned that you're going to say something that's going to get the manager fired. So they, she and the manager threaten that they're going to assault you and then you decide based on that that you're going to quit so you go into domino's managers are in the back so you call from domino's to quit don't really give them a reason why they give you the wave because they see you there you leave and that's when it says i want you to say all those things you write them down and then you text them to her and then delete them is that accurate what i'm saying Yes. Okay. Anything I missed? Um, no. 
I mean, at the end of the day, like, there's always, like, like, I do have memory issues, so there might be more later on, but mm -hmm. that's going to be with my lawyer, okay. you know, and I'll probably um, figure everything out. I don't know how this is going to go. Sure. I don't know if it's, like, does she have, like, the whole state board against me, or is it the state of Colorado pressing charges? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's her specifically that's pressing charges against me or if it's the state of Colorado pressing charges against me for a reported crime or if it's, I don't know, her mother or if it's the other manager. I don't know. Or if it's Domino's, the corporation. I don't know. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to know everything, but I just don't know everything. And I can't know everything, which mm -hmm. really sure, sucks. Sure. Well, and, and I can try and explain to you. And so um, she's the one who um, reported. And so I don't know where, I, I mean, it's, Domino's is not pursuing charges. Her mother's not pursuing charges. Other people not. So, um, and I, and I just want to have a sense of, of your understanding of what happened. And I recognize that you may not remember everything. And I think we're all human and we can't remember every detail, but I think we're pretty good at remembering the Especially, general ideas of things. Yeah, traumatic um, experiences, like sure. getting blackmailed. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, it sounds like that impacted you a ton and that you were scared by that and you were worried about it and you were concerned enough that you, you quit your job and you were concerned enough that you, you know, talk to her and, and type things that you felt weren't, weren't true. So yeah, like um, literally I, then I got into financial trouble cause I quit my job because of, Oh, I'm sure. Right? Yeah. Cause you're making good money. If you're making a hundred and twenty dollars in tips and then yes. go to nothing. I got like a gym membership for a year. That was like 60 bucks a month. I was going to be able to afford that. I got full coverage on my car, mm -hmm. um, which now I had to drop that from full coverage just to whatever my other one is the cheapest one liability yeah and then i was and then i got netflix i got hulu i got disney plus so those are all things that yeah, I, I we were to, sitting in a really good place yes and since i had to quit my job because of that mm -hmm. then i like then i had to find another job which then i did which then that wasn't working out so i left i was like eh, fuck it. i don't need it because my mom was telling me that since she has a housing voucher if we make too much money then she'll lose the housing voucher yeah and it's so, that fine balance right of being yeah. like as soon as you're making too much then you're yeah, because she started voucher, making, and then you're in the hole. Yeah, because she started making money. She started, I think it's like fourteen hundred every two weeks. A bit for her. Yeah, so yeah, I was like, I was like, yeah, I can quit my job if you're mm -hmm. willing to help me pay for my bills, and I'll just clean the house and take care of the animals and make sure my sister's doing good. And she's like, yeah. And so I quit my job at Papa John's and been there for a minute. And today I was just about to go to the pet store and drop off my sister at work, but. Yeah. God knows my sister's probably getting bitched at right now, or my mom's pulling up to the police station trying to get a hold of me. Trying to figure it out. So, yeah. so, so that I understand all this, and I appreciate you talking to me and and, well, and doing your job. Can it make sense of that? Sorry, go ahead. Oh, well, anything to make the process go faster, because sure. at the end of the day, the faster I can go on, the faster my dog doesn't show up for it. <laughs> we don't want that. We don't want a dog with you. An old dog. You know? What kind of dog? She's a Chinese terrier. Um, but she, for some reason, I don't know what it is, but her front half is like buff and then her back oh. half skinny. Legs. I'm like, she's like a bulldog in the front and then like some little yeah. chow neck. That's pretty funny. Yeah, yeah. that's fun. Um, so anyway, I, I don't want to belabor any of this, but I mean, it sounds, it sounds like there wasn't truth to what it is. Say, mm -hmm. um, you had contact with her at work. She calls you over the phone. Did you ever have contact outside of work other than that? Nope. You guys ever hung we out just, together? Nope. We just talked. We just okay. talked over the phone, fucking all that stuff. And that was it. Okay. Uh, so never interacted with her outside the house, so just the phone. Okay. So where do you think her thoughts come in that something else happened? I don't. I don't think that at all. I think that she's just trying to make up shit yeah. trying to get me in trouble mm -hmm. which which is where the blackmail part comes in yes okay that's okay. that's all i'm thinking of okay fair enough um Why so and i had asked and i can get some more uh you know it's just this ice is frozen weird I don't you want it. um i always have to have a chew on ice i get it um but i can get just some more water and ice as well so knowing knowing that and um and that's part of what my conversation had been with you the first time. Would you be comfortable in uh, giving a sample of your DNA doing a buckle swab? 
A butthole swab? A buckin. No, oh. that's not have a butthole swab. It's called a, a buckle swab. So it's like a cotton swab, like a, it's like a Q-tip. And it just rub it around in your mouth. Hmm. Well, I mean, like, I do have to talk to a lawyer about that. Because um, I don't know what the whole sitch is going to be about like that. Okay. I don't know, like, everything. Because I, I think, I'm pretty sure, I'm 95% sure that since I had a first case, you all have my DNA in the system. I don't know where in the system, but I'm pretty sure you guys have it, and I think you guys can line it up. That's why I have to talk yeah. to my lawyer. So, okay. Um, and and I can answer some questions for you about how that works. And so if you had your DNA for another case, then it's related to that case. So it's not as if we store your DNA here within there. So I, I get that you want to talk to your um, attorney about that part, and that is totally your prerogative to do so. Um, so I'll let you have that to not not belabor that part anymore so okay um but are you all right in in, in talking about other things and you just don't want to you want to be able to talk to the oh, attorney about the dna part yeah i want to talk to the attorney about the dna part okay. um probably i probably do want to end the combo at all that because i already know you're recording on there and then there's also the wall and then there's the camera, so and then there's another one. So y'all, you already guys, you guys already have my whole story and my thoughts about it. So there's almost no point in continue talking. And I would like to go home, and since I didn't drive here in my car, <laughs> I didn't, I didn't get a call about any anything about the warrant. So uh, once I go home, then I will go to the public defender's office, or can you guys appoint me one? Um, I either talk to him today and just stay in the home and so until tomorrow. I don't fucking know how this is all going to work. Okay. Um, and then we can set a court date, and then and from there we can just proceed legally and uh, I guess figure everything out. But I know that if she doesn't show up to court, then the case is basically null and void. Because uh, then she accused me of something that didn't happen, which means that she will actually get arrested. And that's what I'm hoping for, um, but that's on her. I mean, if she wants to go to court, you know, I'll take her to court. We'll go to court about this whole thing, which I'm fine with. Okay, okay, fair enough. So, all right, well, I am um, going to sit out, and I'll be back with you in just a few. All right? Awesome. You good on water? Uh, yeah, if, uh, do, uh... Am I going home today or no? No, so there's a warrant for your arrest, so you're not going to be going home. So you'll be going from here to jail. Why? Because of the warrant. So as explained, you have a warrant for your arrest. And how come I wasn't told about the warrant prior to me having the warrant? Um, well, we're not, there's not obligation for me of that. So the warrant just went in the system yesterday. Um, so there's not. But I could have just walked in here myself and. You, so you know, could have oh, walked into so. the jail and turned yourself in, uh, had you been advised of it. So yeah. the warrant was just in the in the system. And so then when you were contacted today, you were advised you're under arrest on the warrant. Is okay. she going to be locked up for banging her manager or no? Okay. So here, here's where we're at in things. So you told me that you wanted an attorney. Mm -hmm. Okay. So based on that, I'm not going to continue to question you about the specifics of the case, okay? Okay. Okay. So hang tight for a few, and you know, my partner will be back with you in just a few, okay? All right. How, All right. Long, you, how long do you think I'm going to be in here, or am I going to ever get out? In here in this room? Just in the system. I don't know. I don't know how that works. So there'll be court dates that will set, and there'll be a process that moves forward, okay? Damn. That's some bullshit. All right. It is what it is. Wow. It's a warrant for my arrest. I wasn't told about the warrant. I was read my Miranda rights once I got to the station and was in the room and was not read them before they put handcuffs on me. And that is some bullshit.
which means I'll probably be in jail for a solid... It's either going to be five years, ten years, something like that, which is some bullshit. At least I don't have a job. Um, well, that's some bullshit that I'm gonna be locked up again for some shit that I didn't fucking do. And that is some fucking bullshit. I'll take a lie detector test and everything. Except the DNA. I don't know about the DNA. I don't know how DNA works. I don't know where it goes. I don't know how it goes. All I know is that it's some bullshit and that it's it's not okay. Um, well, should I actually do the DNA? Because, like, I'm pretty sure she probably fucked another guy after she talked to me in order to get someone's DNA. That been not mine, because I never fucked her. And if I did, I would use a condom. So, I don't fucking know. But she is real ugly, and she is not my type, so... This is... Oh, Lord. Bullshizer, bro. Oh, Second time going to fucking county, and I'm gonna fucking adults. Ain't that some shit? It's like the biggest bullshit in the world. See? Now I'm gonna be locked up because of some bullshit that never happened. Because some shit that she's saying never fucking happened. And even if she saved her fucking messages, that's fucking blackmail, and she fucking knows it. Because she fucking said that. Now I'm probably going to be able to see my dog pass away. My grandma's going to probably pass, depending on how long I'm in here. Fucking, my sister's going to get through high school. Fucking, hopefully she does and she stops fucking being stupid and not going to school. He's stuck in a little cell like this, fucking small as hell, shitty bed, shitty floors. Since I was in reds the first time, I don't know if they're going to put me in reds again, because it's like 30 days Mando in reds, and then, which I wouldn't mind being in reds. I would actually love being in red. I'd rather be in red than be fucking anywhere else. I'd rather be in red than be in orange or fucking black and white or green. I'm gonna be like, just so you know, I need to be in reds. Hmm. I need to be in red. Because I can't handle being around fuck ton of people. That's gonna freak me the fuck out and I'll get into a shit ton of fights. And I've been here for the rest of my life. I'm fucking wrong. I just fucking hate how one person can fucking lie, especially females. They can fucking lie and throw a man in jail. God already knows other fucking dudes that see your paperwork or see the screen and find out whatever that charge may be. That, that, that That's fucking dangerous and that's some bullshit. I fucking hate that. At least I'm not going to fucking plot. Or fucking 
uh, mob view. Fucking happy about all that. I brought my Tims, which fucking sucks. I wish I wouldn't have brought my fucking Tims, because by the time I get out of jail, it'll probably still be fucking snowing. Because <sighs> that's how fucking shit works around here. It's like, oh, you went in during the winter time. You'll get out in like five winters. Ten winters. It's like, why the hell? So I should have wore jeans. And I should have worn my fucking steel toe boots. But no, they had to fucking... Get me out of my fucking car today. They couldn't give me a call and be like, Hey, we're coming to pick you up. Be like, okay, cool, come pick me up. Fucking... I wouldn't give a fuck. I just need to set myself up right. You know, so I'm not going to jail cold. And I'm not leaving jail cold. Regardless of how many years or how long I'm there. I'm fucking bald, and it's some bullshit, because I'm going to get in there, and everyone will make fun of me. <laughs> it's another bald white guy. I wish I could keep the fucking beanie, but I can't shave the fucking head. Because God knows, they don't fucking hand out razors like fucking candy. Some fucking bullshit. See, this is the kind of shit where I wish that, like, I had best friends that were fucking in the government or some shit, because that's some bullshit, and everyone here knows it. I could just be like, All right, Cyrus, you ready? Sir. All right. We'll take you to jail for your multiple felony warrants here. Just face away from me. Put that down. Uh, can we throw this away? Hey, just put it on the sir. Face away. Hands together, palms together, like praying. Take us out like this. And you know you got multiple felony warrants, right? Multiple? Yes, sir. What's the other ones for? So you got the case that I think you talked to Julia about. And then you got another case involving some juveniles kind of thing. That sound right? Uh, no. Okay. I know that my sister has a case. Huh. And then my, my her friend Houston has a case. Okay. Well, that's their case, not mine. I went and picked her up. Okay. Yeah, I went and picked her up from you guys. Fair enough, man. Come on up this way. Cyrus Warren was sentenced to three years in prison. After he is released from prison, Cyrus will be under intensive supervised probation for 10 years to life. Let's hope it's the latter.